This week, Rambam Healthcare Campus hosted the fifth annual Rambam Summit, a meeting place for medicine, technology, and humanity. Since 2010, the Rambam Summit, which includes a scientific conference, has hosted friends from around the world, updating them on Rambam's contributions to medicine and clinical research. The summit began with attendees meeting a patient before and after treatment for essential tremor, as in Parkinson's disease, a treatment available in Israel only at Rambam. Attendees also visited the Sami Offer Fortified Underground Emergency Hospital in its peacetime configuration as an underground parking lot. the newly opened Ruth Rappaport Children's Hospital. Uh, yes, we're fairly new. We, um, we lived in Israel before and we were in the United States for several years and came back. We are here today because we're very pleased to support Rambam. Uh, the tour is very amazing, seeing the procedure this morning and the results and then uh, hearing the lectures from the surgeons talking about robotics and things, high technology and things like that, was very impressive to us. The first day ended with a gala evening and presentation of the prestigious 2014 Rambam Award which recognizes outstanding individuals for their contributions to Rambam, Israel, and humankind. This year's recipients of the 2014 Rambam Award were Haifa's mayor, Yona Yahav, Professor Howard Chaim Zeder, Ms. Herta and Mr. Paul Shmuel Amir, and Ms. Relly and Mr. Brent Dibner. The scientific conference focused on promises and horizons in next-generation medicine. Attendees included renowned experts in healthcare and genetic medicine, with Professor Elizabeth Nabel, president of Brigham Hospital in Boston, Massachusetts, giving the keynote lecture. Professor Carl Skorecki, a world-renowned genetic researcher and director of medical and research development at Rambam, was the conference moderator. By the end of the summit, it was clear by placing people at the heart of every medical endeavor, Rambam's vision is becoming reality. <laughs>